So we started looking at polynomial functions. Um, I've given the definition in the upper right hand corner in case that you are not following exactly along with the rest of us or if you're just picking up this video just as a single entity. What we want to do now is we're going to actually look at the leading coefficient test and what this allows us to find out is based on your leading coefficient and the value of your polynomial. Is it an odd? Is it even? Um, you can determine the end behavior for a graph. Now what do I mean by the end behavior? Well the end behavior is related to when you draw the arrows on each end of your polynomial for where it's going. So we can talk about whether it's going to rise or if it's going to fall on which side that's going to happen. So what we want to do is let's look at the first one. I've got x to the fourth minus 4x squared. So the first thing I want to find out is what is n? Well n is this exponent right here, and what do I notice? Well, I notice it's a 4, so n is going to be even. So now that I've got that, that's already knocked out two of the rules that we have for this. Or make sure you're referring to a chart that you have in your book, or a chart that I've created, or whatever you have for your course. So I know that it's even. Now, what I need to find out is the leading coefficient. Is it positive, or is it negative? Well, I look in front of the number, and I see right here there's no sign, so that means that it is a positive coefficient, leading coefficient. So now based on those two things, when you look at your chart and what you're eventually going to understand is, so I'm going to go find even, I see that it is positive, so what that tells me is it says that the graph will rise on the left and on the right. So the graph, so it's going to rise on the left and rise on the right. Now what about another one? Just to make sure we're all together. So now I've got minus x cubed plus 2. Again, the first thing I want to check is I want to check the exponent. I look at it this time it's a 3 so it's going to be odd. And then what I want to do is I want to come in and I notice this time there's a minus sign out in front so I have a minus is my leading coefficient. So what I need to do is look at my chart, or what I've already learned. I need to find something that's odd and has a negative leading coefficient, so it's going to rise on the left, and it's going to fall on the right. 